Welcome everybody, this is Mr. Games Master 1 here, and I know I'm starting in the second half, but I was trying to record you guys a review of this game, but I don't know, my mic wasn't really working, but yeah, in this video, oh you saw Ibra there, this video I'm gonna just give you guys a little review on the next gen FIFA on Xbox One. This game is really fantastic. I, re I really, really recommend you guys getting this. If you have the money. I'm not saying go out of your way getting this. But I really like this. Definitely much more than the Xbox 360 version. You feel the difference. It feels like the Xbox 360 version of FIFA 14 was like, I don't know. They were trying to make a new FIFA off FIFA 13. Trying to make a new FIFA. And they were like, oh, let's release a cheap beta version full of bugs real quick and let's actually make a real game for the Xbox One and that's what I think that happened. See look here the graphics, the touch of players. It feels so different. It's, it feels like you're playing head to head, almost. Because it's so hard to finish. There's no such thing as handicap. They removed handicap. I don't know. I'm really happy about that because I'm usually the guy that has a team with Ibra that plays against a team that has I don't know fucking Jackson Martinez. I'm gonna sound like a hypocrite, but I sold that team against a guy that has Jackson Martinez, and then like loses by like three goals or something like that. Because I honestly believe there's a handicap. Like if you're 79 rated playing against an 85 rated team, there is something called handicap. But not in this game. And corners are nerfed. Uh, oh fuck! See, second time. This happens a lot in FIFA 14 on this gen. Literally, fuck, that's really frustrating. Goalkeepers are overpowered, not overpowered, but like, not retarded anymore. Or finishing is harder to do. <laughs> Look at the graphics, I don't care, I'll watch the replay, I like seeing these graphics. But this guy got way too excited on his second time. Header, yeah, good for you. That's all he did all game, I've been... Just attacking, attacking, penalties, but I can't finish. I'm, I'm just not used to this game yet. Dribbling is definitely better. Aw, oh, sir. Let's try a free kick. I don't think I've tried a free kick yet. And Ibra, this is my fourth game with him. I'll probably be uploading a review on him on Monday. Hopefully I'll get more gameplay. Ah, oh, he held me. And yeah, you see that header? This is something they added. Headers, you, you gotta time your headers. If this, I learned it the hard way. Let's say this is what happened to me. Off kickoff, he just held X, normal kickoff, gave it the boot. It was Ramos, my center back. I pressed A a little early. You just see him heading the air. Just air, nothing in front of him, just heading the air. Oh, I hit the crossbar a lot too. And his player took the ball and finished it. It was like really frustrating. See, their finishing is really difficult. Feels like you're finishing on head to head. I play a lot of games that end up 0 0. But I guess this guy, I've been attacking a lot. Which. Oh, yeah, Ibra. No, no, no. I didn't mean to. I'm not used to the analog stick too. There's a lot of things I'm not used to. Finishing, how much power should I put in it? Uh, finesse shots, uh, the joystick. <laughs> That's probably my first goal on FIFA 14 next gen scoring out of the box. That was a nice finish by Benzema, honestly. This is a really, really fun game. It's a different experience. There's no more freezing, there's no more bullshit, there's no more. 90th minute corners. I'm not saying you don't you don't get scored on by headers, but it's less often the keeper actually saves it. He doesn't just duck under it like he did in the old gen. Touches are much more harder. It's just a more realistic game. It's incredible. And as you see there on the screen, it seems like I'm talking, but the Kinect has a microphone on it. <laughs> and like the first game at FIFA I played, I heard someone talking in the background. I was like, fuck you, kid. <laughs> and like he start him, he got all angry. I didn't know he heard me. That's my bad. Ibra, <sighs> I'm telling you, it's a much more difficult game to score, to defend. <sighs> but skill moves are easier, in my opinion. 
headers, you won't win a header. Except if you're wide open or you're a six foot black guy, <laughs> then yeah. And overall review about this game, I really love it. There is really one word I could say, I really love this. And if you see other YouTubers talking about it, they're all saying positive stuff too. This game is definitely a much better make off FIFA 14 on Xbox 360. I played a team that had like Benteke, Lukaku, just a cheap, sweaty team. He couldn't finish at all. He would literally get in front of the goal and his strikers can't finish for shit until he got in front of the goal and like passed it. He did really uh, a tramp goal, whatever you call it, and just <laughs> was really annoying. But finishing is so hard, even for Ibra. You, you gotta be in a perfect position, you gotta have space, you gotta be close. Come on, Ibra, he can't finish. You can't, like, be, like, moving sideways and shoot it or moving sideways and try to pass it. It's a really frustrating game. A lot of the games, I'm having, like, 13 shots and maybe one to two goals. Come on. It's just getting used to. I want to say it's, a fr it's frustrating. It's just different from FIFA 14, what I got used to, and you just got to play a lot. And <sighs> But yeah, the graphics. Ooh, Menez. Ooh, kill him. Ooh, kill him. I, try I like doing skill. This guy is so obvious he's holding left bumper or A, whatever. Because, like, when I stopped moving, his defender stopped moving. I went right, his defender went right. Uh, through balls are still kind of OP because defending is harder. And someone's yet to, like, literally score a legit goal on me. It's always second time. Or the glitch. The glitch still works, sadly. I don't know. I don't really like to use it. See that through ball? Ibra with that strength. Sir, my second penalty. I missed my first penalty. But yeah, I think the Xbox One is sold out right now in most places. Oh, look at the graphics. But you don't want to you don't want to press A cuz I always press A to skip these cutscenes but I end up passing the ball cuz you can't tell what is a cutscene and what is the actual game. Okay, let's see here. God damn it, Ibra. Wow, Ibra missed two penalties this game. This is awesome. Look at this guy. He's gonna try to spam A. Try to oh, he didn't do it this time, but it happens a lot to me and to others. You spam A, you just give the other guy the ball. It's really frustrating. But yeah, if you have the money, definitely go get this game right now. Just throw your 360 out of the window, sell your FIFA 14 game on 360, and get this version. It's definitely better. And I'll probably be uploading a Ebra review on Monday. Just let me get more gameplay with him. Get used to this game. Get used to using Ebra. See, that guy pressed A early and like his defender stopped. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. If this video like gave you a little idea of the Xbox One, uh, drop a like. And one more thing I want you guys to comment. If you played against a legend or used the legend... Please tell me, because I've yet to see one or yet to use one, so I don't know. If they're worth it, I'll probably sell Ebron and get them. If they're not, I'll just get, I don't know, Messi, Aguero, I don't know. Some non-EA, like, hyped player. And yeah, this is the end of the game. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, drop a like if this helped you, and comment below, tell me if you've seen a legend or not. And yeah, this is Mr. Games Master 1, I'll see you guys next time, peace out.